What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is another episode of Nerf Stereotypes. In this episode, we're covering the off-brand guy, that guy who refuses to use a Nerf blaster, or I should say, a Nerf brand blaster. Hello, if you have a moment, I'm gonna go over my off-brand gear to tell you why it's better than your gear if you use Nerf gear. Seriously, bro, on that note, that title, come on, Nerf Stereotypes? I don't Nerf. I don't nerf. I fling foam. There's a difference. Nerf is a brand. It's not a verb. That doesn't even make sense. Freaking bloated corporations only out for money. I mean, how dare they make a profit from providing a good or service? That's, that's, ugh. That's where I prefer the off-brands or the non-mainstream. Like, nerf is way too mainstream. A bunch of conformists play. And if you, if you use a nerf blaster, you're a filthy conformist too. Your career prospects probably include wanting to make money. A pfft, pfft. Can you eat money? No. Does it keep you warm? No. Why do you need it? conformist. Pfft. When I go out, I, I get so sick of people saying, let's go nerf bros. Like, come on, man. I like eating Oreos and using Kleenex to wipe my nose as much as anybody, but it's a cookie and a tissue and a blaster, not a nerf. Ugh. So why don't I like nerf brand stuff other than, you know, filthy conformist and corporations and bloated and everybody trying to make money? Uh, pfft. It's, it's too expensive. You can get the same thing or better for less money, like my primary here, which is the Air Warriors Brute. Don't you dare call it the Rapid Strike ripoff. It's not a ripoff or a knockoff. It's a superior blaster. Just happens to be formatted in a very similar fashion and come out a little bit after the Rapid Strike. It doesn't mean it's a ripoff. Do you have an older sibling? That means you're just a ripoff of them if you came second. So pfft, that, that's not cool. Obviously it hurts your feelings. So don't you dare call my Brute a ripoff of the inferior Rapid Strike. Yeah, so now I'll go over my gear. Otherwise I'll just keep ranting at you. Brute fully automatic awesome blaster does not have a rev trigger because it's a superior design it's simpler all you have to do is hold down the trigger and it fires and i happen to dig the colors you, you, see, you notice my color coordination it's on point yeah pretty fly for an off-brand guy <laughs> Inside I have the extended mag because you blow through it pretty quick, but I have extra mags on my, my vest. This is not the Nerf brand vest, it's an off-brand vest, obviously, I bought on Amazon. And it's camouflage for the style points. I don't blend in anywhere, but it looks cool. It is a, a pretty much identical design to the Nerf brand one, but it doesn't fly their filthy logo on the, on the, on the chest. Four eight-round magazines, also by Air Warriors, of course, to, to fit my brute. Darts I'm using... Whoops, I broke it. Don't you, don't you dare say I broke it because it's off-brand. Your Nerf darts break too. Just not like that. That's weird. Just cut that out. The darts I'm using here are white off-brand waffle head darts uh, because Nerf darts are too expensive and lame. These have superior performance. They're similar to the Nerf AccuStrike darts, uh, but they're better because they're not Nerf. Ha! Slide that back on in there. I reload using the mags, but up here I don't actually use these darts. They just look super cool for the style points. So that's it for my vest. Pretty basic stuff. Getting down to my drop leg holster on the side. This was also purchased on Amazon. It's uh, just an off-brand non-Nerf holster. I don't really care about the brand as long as it's not the mainstream brand. I mean, that's just pretty much how I roll because the best or most popular, certainly not interchangeable BT dubs. Most popular doesn't mean the best, but it's always overpriced. So if you go down a tier, or not a tier, a tier suggests superiority. You go down in cost, you, you get a cheaper blaster. That's a given. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, but the holster works fine, and inside of it, I have the Dart Zone Blitzfire. For you uh, mainstream conformists, this is very similar to the Strong Arm, if you haven't seen it. Six shots, spring blaster, pretty great blaster. And the profile of it is more similar to like a gun, so it fits into the holster really easily. And it'll click when you don't prime it. So it's fun to just like pull the trigger. The guys that run Nerf brand blasters at my local wars don't usually carry a sidearm, but my Brute uh, jams occasionally, so I, I need it. I don't know what they do when their blasters jam, but uh, this is what we I use. We don't jam, bro. Our blasters don't suck. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> So that's the backup in the holster. Went over my vest, uh, pretty basic gear. Once again, I don't really believe in using the mainstream stuff. I'd like to use the off brand or the secondary brands. And I know some of you guys out there do too. So that's my loadout. Hopefully it's a little inspirational for you. Yeah, screw Nerf. Those capitalist pigs, how dare they demand a profit for their good or service? Pfft. It should be free, like college and healthcare. That's just a given. People should just give me stuff. I don't want to work for it. I don't want to pay for it. Just give me stuff. That's how the world works as a millennial. I'm just entitled to everything. Work? A pfft. A pfft. I'll run a company. I'm not going to work for a company. Yeah, that pfft. Okay. Bro, I majored in political science. I know what I'm talking about. A pfft. I can be a CEO. Can't be that hard. Like, Mark Zuckerberg didn't even graduate college. Bad example though, because I don't use Facebook. It's, it's way too mainstream. Filthy conformists. I fear I've gotten off topic. So that's, uh, all of my gear, hopefully you learned something. And if you're a Nerf brand user and you're like, hey, look at this scrub, he, he just can't afford it. Yeah, I could if I wanted to, but I prefer spending less money. Who cares if my blaster jams every once in a while? <laughs> okay, I'm already, I, I'm upset and I'm responding to you hypothetically. You're not even, you know what, I'm done. Rage quit, get out of here, conformist. <laughs> you, you mad boar, you mad boar?
You mad? Talk about a rage quit, bros. <laughs> That concludes the stereotype of the off-brand nerfer. If you have a recommendation for a future stereotypes episode, leave a comment in the section below. That's this episode. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, bros, stay tactical. Do you have an older brother? That means you're a ripoff of him, right? Yeah, how does that feel? It doesn't feel... <laughs> I'm the youngest of... <laughs> that hurts me to say. Gosh, wasn't scripted. That hurts my feels. I'm a ripoff of my brothers. <laughs>